We continue now with our coverage of the big story, the Memorial Drive shooting. We take a deeper look at mental illness and its possible role in this deadly shooting. Channel 2's Haley Hernandez spoke with a medical expert who deals with mental health among military members. Michelle Patrickwin, a psychologist with Menninger Clinic, has experience with service members and says there are a few obvious signs of distress when a military member returns home struggling with mental health issues. Maybe they're withdrawing socially, um, avoiding things that they used to participate in, um, as well as maybe re-experiencing some things that um, they have may have experienced overseas. While many times this is associated with post-traumatic stress disorder, Patrick Wynn tells me it's critical not to link violent behavior to PTSD. Things like substance use um, can play a role um, in violent behaviors, but um, really not mental illness. Really the two are disconnected. Um, there are so many other factors that are at play when somebody is violent um, and we really want to be careful um, when we link the two because it's really not founded in fact. She says PTSD can be associated with nightmares, feeling threatened or strong reactions to loud noises. Um, those all can be kind of signs that there may be something deeper going on. If you recognize something is not right, Patrick Wynn suggests starting with your primary care doctor at a private practice or through the Veterans Hospital. They can really connect you to individuals either in the community or um, at the Veterans, uh, at the VA. Haley Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Dr. Patrick Wynn says that while violent behaviors or delusional thoughts are different from PTSD, they are still something that fall under mental health and need immediate attention. There is a link to some uh, contacts on our website, clickthewson.com. You can find the story under the health section.